Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Chaoqing. And today, you find us once again over in Gaoyao, over the river. And we are off looking for a tower, which uh, I think is on the hill up behind us. Um, I've often uh, sort of uh, looked and seen this tower from over the river, but I've uh, often sort of wanted to get over and have a look, never got around to it. So we're going to do that today. Just going to over the road here because we've got to do a U-turn. There's no other way to get uh, get around the corner up here. We're going to duck down through this traffic. We'll turn much tighter than these cars when we get a green light. Um, so yes, we actually went up looking for this, uh, looking for this tower the other day, uh, three or four days ago, and pulled out my phone to look on the map to see where we are. The map wasn't working. I was trying to translate some signs, and tell us stuff. They weren't working. So we uh, we never actually got there. Um, and I was going, what the hell's wrong with my phone? And uh, it turns out I've run out of phone credit. Uh, I've recently changed my phone plan and didn't realise that the uh, money had run out. So I spent ages trying to fix that up. I had to go back home to get Wi-Fi to be able to connect to the payment system. So up in front of us there, you can see that tower up on the hill. That's what we're looking for. That's where we're trying to get to. Um, I have no idea how to get up there. I have no idea if we can get up there. But we're going to see how we go. We've also, uh, for the first time, we've got this little lavalier mic hooked into my uh, other microphone. We're giving that one a bash, see how that works with wind noise and stuff. We do have a bit of wind as we're coming over this bridge here. But uh, we'll see how it turns out. Never really used that before. I've, had, I've got a couple of them sitting at home. And always just went with the microphone, the standard sort of microphone thing. And uh, Tony used his on when he bought his bike the other day and it seemed to work really well so we're going to give this one a try as well. Uh, so we are yeah, heading up in front of us there, we can see that tower. We have a phone now with charge so I can translate some of these signs that we're going to see and uh, we'll see if we can find our way up there. Uh, videos over the next little while are going to slow down a bit. We are back at school now, so uh, over the school holidays I've been putting out videos you know, every day, every couple of days. I've been going out doing stuff. We are a bit more busy now, so it's not going to be quite so many videos attacking you. <laughs> so you can, uh, you can be relieved at that, no doubt. Right, what have we got to cover behind us? I'm not sure how these... Okay, we've got a green light up over that one. So, we are... We're going to stop in some of these little side places, have a look at where we are. We are heading uh, into quite a busy little road. It was very, very busy the other day. Although I think it may be less busy today. Uh, we went over the other day, there was a bit of drain and drizzle around. And I think there are a lot more people in cars rather than on bikes. Okay, so we've got just up here, ground tourist sign. So we're gonna stop here, see if we can translate this sign. So this little side road, six kilometers down here, there is something to look at. Right, let's pull the phone out. Open the translator. 
later up and see what this here has to say. Ah, uh, translation. Camera. Get a little bit closer to him. Okay, what do we get? Waiting for the translation to come through. Okay, that doesn't want to work. Let's try taking a photo of the phone and putting the photo in the translator. Uh, gallery. Okay, Jiao Ching, Ching Ching, City World, Scene 7. I have no idea what that means. So we're going to carry on this way. I think there's a road down the back side of this mountain. Uh, looks like that road there's uh, closed off anyway. Uh, so we're not going to see much down there. So if we go up to our left here, we go up onto the new bridge, get across the new bridge back into Duan Zhou, which get the electric bikes onto the walkways on the side so I believe people do take electric bikes on there we might give that a bash although we might not we'll see how traffic looks when we're on our way back home now was this the little side road we took down the other day I think this is the little side road so if we uh, have a look at this uh, sign up here, this blue one up in front of us. Uh, see what this has to say. Wu Rong Village. So we did come down here the other day. It is a uh, very old looking little village. But I'm not sure. even we went for a ride down this little road on our right which uh, leads into some sort of little industrial place a little factory I'm not sure what they're manufacturing in there I couldn't really tell but as we come to the down to the right here we've got a little road runs through this little village on our right and Actually, we'll duck down here first. So this down in front of us here looks like an old, old temple, old worship area. And then we can see lots and lots of old buildings through here. We're not going to go, I don't think we're going to go through there. Maybe we, we might do a little walk through here later on after we finish we'll go for a little stroll because yeah back through there looks interesting yeah we might do a little walk through here later so there is a heap of signage here not sure what any of this says but we're going to head back up this way take this little road through to the other side so we can see the tower up on the hill up here that's what we're trying to get to. Uh, let's have a little look at what this little blue sign in front of us here says. Uh, okay. Translator. Hey, there's a whole lot of writing on here. Protection of strictly guard against mountain fires.
Okay, so it's all about fire prevention. And then as we duck down this little road, hopefully, so that other road that we saw actually runs just at the bottom of the hill over there. Uh, there was an interesting little quarry area that looked quite interesting. This village comes right the way through here to the back on our left. Oh, we got a couple of old ladies sitting out the front. It's a uh, interesting little spot. It's very pleasant. Oh, we got a big water tank up the top of the hill there. Now there was a sign up here, which is the one I tried to translate the other day. So we've got steps going up up the hill here. Was there a sign here somewhere? I Maybe I'm thinking of somewhere else. Oh, what's this? We might have a little restaurant or something in uh, in this side here. Looking at this sign on our right. Let's see what these have to say. Welcome Wulong Farm. So we have these steps going up here on our left. I'm not sure where they go. I thought I saw a sign here the other day. Maybe I'm dreaming. Um, okay, we're going to switch things over. We're gonna look into the map. Uh, and just, we'll give you a little look at where we are. So, uh, as we draw back, this star here, this is where we live. We've come over this bridge here right down along the river and we are now in here so we can see the tower is up here and i'm just trying to see if there is some sort of path so i'm wondering if we have a path going right the way around here that will get us up to the top i'm not sure we might, uh... I don't know if I want to, it doesn't look like a very secure sort of area. Um, we might not stop here because that path is going entirely the wrong direction. We might take a, uh, we're gonna ride back. I'm gonna try and get up along the uh, other side of this mountain and see if we can find something over that side. Just feel this camera, see how hot we're getting. It is uh, quite a warmish day today. But we do have a little bit of breeze flying around, so it's keeping it fairly nice and pleasant. Um, yeah. to decide actually let's just have a uh, quick another look at this map here zoom out a little bit and we'll see where the nearest road okay we have another little ah we've got a road around the back of that mountain how do we get to there okay up through that way all right all right, we're going to uh, ride around the mountain and we're going to try and come up around the other side, around the, right around the back side of the mountain. It looks like that might be the way we want to go. I, uh, yeah, I really want to find my way up to the top here. Hey, microphone there. Right, we're going to cross this little footpath here so that we're not riding against the flow of traffic. This was a very, very busy road the other day when we were here. We, we had to wait a long time to get across the road. Right, we're gonna be, uh, keep well over to the right. We've got a big truck coming up behind us. Busy as it was the other day 
uh, when we came down. So, I think we have to go around this other mountain in front of us here. Mountain Hill. I don't know, I think they just call them all mountains here. Uh, I'm not... Exactly sure, but we'll see. Oh, we've got another tower directly in front of us there. I wonder if maybe we can get to that tower. They do both look very, very similar almost the same maybe that one might be a little bit easier to get to oh we've got right i just want to suss out this bit of traffic here because we actually want to zoom around to our left up there but no we're going to go straight over here and we'll find our way over to that road somewhere else that's too dangerous on the electric bike to get over there uh, and we have bollards in the crosswalk area so we can't even use the crosswalk to get over there another big truck so yeah this is one thing on the electric bike i know a lot of people a lot of local people will do that but uh, i'm a little bit more cautious than, uh, than most people here are. We might actually aim for this tower up on our left here instead. That one looks like it might be more accessible to us. So we'll see how we go. So yeah, as I was saying before, we are back at work now. Uh, still back after a way too long vacation. And uh, we have actually changed our classes this year, which is... Right, where's that tower going? Hold on, just before we get into talking about that, just work out what we want to do here. Okay, we want to zoom back around, do another Yui here at this intersection, and come back down this road along the river behind us. So yeah, our school has actually changed this year. We've always been at college doing three year courses since I've got here. This year, we are actually, uh, for the first time, offering four year bachelor degrees. So, things are different than they have been. Uh, I actually got a phone call uh, three or four weeks before school started again from Vivian, who's sort of running the English department at the moment. And my class has always been, you know, we've always had a class called foreign nursing. So when they do uh, their nursing classes, you know, college degrees, so they're getting a uh, diploma as opposed to a bachelor degree. They sort of uh, join the nursing classes but then they get a choice of different types of nursing and one of them was foreign nursing which meant they learn English so they can go and work in hospitals in Guangzhou or Shenzhen or Shanghai wherever where there might be a lot of visit a lot of visitors a lot of foreigners use those hospitals whether it's foreigners living in China or visit you know tourists it was very much aimed at that sort of people or if they want to travel overseas and work in a hospital overseas it gives them that extra bit of skill with the foreign language so we've always had the foreign language class and uh yeah i got a phone call from vivian and she said to me you know the foreign nursing class is finished we're not doing it anymore and my first thought was oh shit what am I going to do? Am I still going to have a job? I was a bit worried, you know. Am I going to go and have to look for somewhere new to work? Because I 
didn't really want to do that. Okay, there's that tower right there. How do we get closer? We, oh, we've got a little, just looking down here on our right, we've got a little temple area down here. So we're going to head down this. We'll just wait for this car to come past. We're gonna head down here. So yeah, uh, Vivian, I sort of, she told me that and I went, yeah, yeah, no problem, righty rah. A little bit, a little bit shell-shocked, going, thinking, oh shit, what am I going to do? And uh, it wasn't until we went over to Yun Fu with Frankel and Vivian, and while in the car, I had a chat to Vivian said, well, what's happening with the job? You know, am I still going to be, does the school still going to need a foreign teacher? She straight away said, oh yeah, no question. And, uh, I mean, okay then, no problem. Because, uh, and the reason they're cancelling that is because we are now, basically our school has been upgraded from just being a college. We're now offering bachelor degrees. So we're actually, heading into the university sort of area. Well, it's a bit of a bumpy bit of road here. We're just gonna ride around here and see if we can find our way to finding a way up to that temple. Right above us there. So, we got to this school where Frankel was giving a talk in Yun Fu. And Frankel had done his talk in the afternoon and talked to a lot of the teachers and stuff. Meanwhile, me and Vivian have been off having a look around the town, got ourselves settled into the hotel and stuff. And uh, then off at the banquet that night, Frankel came up. You know, we'd been having a chat with some of the guys and stuff. And Frankel pulled me aside and said, look, because I'd talked to Frankel about the job. And Frankel wasn't sure because he's actually Wait, this comes to a sudden end. Okay, this road's going nowhere. Frankel is actually in the process of leaving the school. He may have left already. He's going to work for another company, which hopefully we're going to be able to do a video about that. We're going to sit down with Frankel and have a talk about his new job and, and leaving what is a very, very secure employment opportunity where he was. But uh, Frankel pulled me aside and he'd been talking to the head teacher and he, he said to me, look, if you're worried about your job, this school is a privately run school, privately funded, and they'll have you anytime. You know, just on Frankel's recommendation, they'd have me in as a teacher, which straight away was, wow, thank God I've, uh, I don't even have to go looking for a job. I've got something if I want it. And then I think Frankel must have said something to Vivian. Because five minutes later, Vivian was over to me. Oh, don't leave us. Don't leave us. We still want you. We still want you. That made me feel very, very good. So chances are I'm actually going to go over to this school in Yunfu, do some classes with them. But it'll just be a, you know, occasional thing will go and help out but uh, I'm more than happy to stay where I am because I do like my school I do like the people I work with I do like my students you know it's just and I do like Jiao Ching I'm, I'm very very happy living in Jiao Ching so I didn't really want to go anywhere okay I can't see any path up to that from this side We'll keep moving around, see what we can see around the corner of that hill if we can. This is just a big adventure today, just out, see what we can see. Uh, right, what do we got down this road to our right here? That looks like a school in front of us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, and that road comes to an end right down there. So we're gonna go around this school, Looks like primary school in there. We're gonna turn right up here and have a look what we've got going down this way. So yeah, very, very happy to uh, still be needed in the school. 
class structure has changed a lot. The classes are going to be very different than I'm used to. I'm, uh, in fact, even the uh, teachers, we're sort of trying, we're trying one way of running the classes for the first couple of weeks. We've got the October holiday coming up. After that, we're going to have a, have a look at how things are going, how the classes are working, see if we have to adjust anything. So it is a little bit experimental at the moment, but we'll see where we end up. Keeping an eye on our right here, because this hill here is where this tower is. Just trying to find if there is a way up there somewhere. Up through here. So yeah, all things with the school at the moment looking really, really good. We've got another path up to our left here, going up the hill. We might actually, once we've had a look around for this tower, we might actually have a look at maybe going for a walk up there and seeing what we've got up that little hill. Okay, let's take a little ride down here, see what we've got down in here. See what we can see from the end here. Partly to have a look, partly because it gets us into the shade. Okay, so the road comes to an end just up here. So we're going to duck around to our left, see if this extends a little bit further once we get past the bottom of that hill. I do love these little little townships sort of built on the side on the side of a main road. Okay, so that's all closed off. Right, what have we got down this way? Okay, we're gonna head down this way. Have a look what we can see down to our right down here. Oh, we're into, no, this is some kind of little apartment block. Okay, so we can't get into there. Well, we can get into there, but it's not gonna take us anywhere. All right, let's, let's what? Get back down onto the road here. Okay, we're gonna go down here. We've got a main road down around to our right here. This is going to lead us back down around the bottom of that hill with the tower on the other side. Okay, what have we got behind us? Nothing coming behind us. We should be okay. Okay, there's our tower off to our right. Oh, it's a marriage registration building in there. Okay, public toilet up here. Ah, well this looks interesting. Okay, we've got a little park area in here. And I wonder if this will have a little... Okay, we're going to park up the bike here somewhere find suitable parking and we're going to take a little stroll in through there oh is this oh we got bike parking here on our left okay so we're going to park in here and we're going to pull out the other camera and take a little walk through here so stick around um, yeah, we'll switch cameras over the gimbal on the phone and we'll be back with you in just a moment. 
Okay, so we are off the 360 camera now. The bike is parked over to the side, just the other side of that little uh, volunteer service shed. And we're gonna take a little walk through here. So we've got this wonderful big gate here into this park area, which looks really cool. Over on our right hand side here, we have a map sort of of the entire sort of Jiaoqing area. So uh, we'll have Duanzhou up here, Gaoya down over this side. Um, it does tell us all the roads where they all go. So to Guangzhou, 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 Sehui, Sehui, Deqing, Yunfu, Sing Sing, Gaoming. But unfortunately, everything else here is in Chinese. So this looks like all the different tourist things around um, around the area going right up the top here so what we might actually do is we're going to take photos when we come back we're going to take photos in sort of small sections so we can translate everything see what other areas we have that will be interesting to go and have a look at but for now we're going to head over this way so we've got a little lake hidden in the back here and then we have heap of older folk down here playing cards and uh, having a good time in the shade. We've got some exercise equipment down here. We've got a path leading right the way around this lake. But we're not going to go around there. We're going to walk across this bridge right across the middle of the lake. They get a nice little viewing platform in the centre of the lake there. And then we are going to hopefully be able to head up that mountain. It does look like there's steps over the other side of this path heading up the mountain. So we'll go and have a look at how it all looks. It's, uh, yeah, another new little area for me. These little things just hidden away that, uh, you know, if you're in a car driving around, you just miss all of this stuff. It's, uh, Yeah, I've said before and I'll say again, you know, it's why I like walking around places or getting on my push bike or now the electric bike um, and just taking my time. So all of these trees around this backside are actually going right down into the water. And it's a pretty amazing, pretty amazing little view. Wow, that sun's very glary looking that way. Let's look around this way. That looks much better without the sun sort of behind the shot there or in front of the shot. Okay, and we head over the other side and we can see if we tilt up, we can see this tower right in front of us. So hopefully we can get up there somehow from here. We'll just see how we go. These are the steps that I saw. Do we have steps going up further up? Oh, it does not look like it. And being on the uh, phone camera now, I can't translate what this sign says. Um, okay, we might head around to our right. Just trying to get any sort of a hint. So the tower's sort of over this way. So I think if there's going to be a track up the hill, it's going to be over this side. It may well be the case that these towers are just not accessible because they are very old and maybe they don't want people going around them. Although hopefully they are going to be renovated. Here we see these trees growing right out of the water. They look amazing. It's a, uh, wow, it's very, very peaceful over here. We're not that far from the main road and there's nothing to be heard of it. Oh, we've got another little park over here on our right. Some type of sculpture down in the, down in the park here. I'm 
get down, we'll get down and have a look at this sculpture. See what it is. Oh, there's a uh, couple of sculptures around the edge. Oh, we've got steps head. Okay, we might save that for on our way back. We've got steps heading up the hill here. So maybe, just maybe, this is going to lead up to what we're looking for. Okay, so another one that we can't translate. And even if we weren't on the phone gimbal, this a lot of this writing has faded. It'd be really, really hard for the camera to pick up. But we can see here, 1588. So whatever's up here is coming from that long ago. So this here is the back of those apartment units that we rode past that we didn't want to go into. And this looks like a very, very rarely used, very rarely used path. It doesn't look like it gets a lot of, a lot of traffic up here. It's another thing that, uh, that keeps me really interested. You know, a lot of people, I've mentioned this before, a lot of people will tell me that, uh, you know, oh, there's not much to do in Jiaqing, you know, why do you live in Jiaqing? It's a pretty boring place. Well, these sort of places, for the locals, they've lived with these sort of places all their lives. And it's probably not that exciting for them. But for me, this is all still new. This is all still, you know, fresh and exciting. And, uh, I'm always interested in having a look. Wow, I'm getting out of breath already. Must be getting old or something. <laughs> it is quite a warm day here again today. It's been a little bit cooler the last couple of weeks with this typhoon having passed off to the south of us. Had a lot more rain. Haven't had strong winds but it has been a little bit more blowy. So we've had breeze blowing through. It is a lot more still today. And back to being a lot warmer. As we make our way up here. Yeah, we're definitely feeling that change in weather. We are also keeping an eye out for snakes as we're walking along here. If you watched far enough into my last video, uh, we did actually run across a snake over near the lake on the footpath. And I have seen a couple since then as well. They seem to be out and a little more active since that typhoon. Well, from the time of the typhoon, or maybe I've just, maybe they're not more active, I've just happened to come across them, who knows. But we will keep, we will keep a pretty good eye on things, make sure of where we're stepping. We are, so it is Friday today, we've actually got classes tomorrow, tomorrow morning, which is rather unusual, but we have the Mid Autumn Festival coming up at the end of the weekend, so I think it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so all of Tuesday's classes are being run on Saturday and then we have three or four days off. Hey, there's a snake right there. Wow. Here it goes, slithering off. I don't know if we caught that or not. He was quite a sizable thing too. 
not small. Uh, yeah, so we may actually be heading off to Guangxi province for a few days. A friend of mine comes from over Guangxi. He's living in Shenzhen. And he was going home. He did contact me a while back and said, am I interested in going over with him? Of which I said, yeah. But I gave him the times of school and stuff when I have to be back by. So whether or not I go is largely going to depend on how hey here we are on how his schedule melds with mine as to whether we can actually make it work so we may we well have a few videos coming to you from Guangxi province I think it'll be the first videos I've done from outside of Guangdong province actually if we do go so Wow, so much didn't look anywhere near this big from, from below. We'll go for a little walk around here before we go inside and have a look at what's inside here. We do have steps heading up, but we've got a gate up there, it's locked off. So we can't climb up, it's not like the one in and Yun Fu that we saw where we actually could climb up. We've got some old writing on the side here. Wow, it's, it is so, it's, you get up close to these things and they are so much bigger than they look from a distance. Wow. Okay, so let's go inside here. Just have a look what's down on this ground floor inside here. Okay, not much to see. It's just empty. Nothing in here at all. But we get back around to the uh, sunny side step right back as far as we can and try and have a look right up to the top if this gimbal will allow us to put the camera that far back where's a good place to stand here we go so we've got one two three four five six seven looks like seven floors i think the very top one is probably just the roof overhang but seven floors high. And it does look pretty cool. I do wish we could, hopefully they're going to uh, do something with this, get it done up so that we can come up and have a look and climb up there. That'd be an amazing view from the top of that thing. Wow. Yeah, hopefully they're going to do something about that and make it usable for people. So, we're gonna go back down. We're gonna go and have a look in that little park area where they had the sculptures and just see what that's all about. Um, so yeah, going to Guangxi. I've been to Guangxi, what, three times, but it was all before I started the YouTube channel. The last time was actually probably a year into the, uh, pandemic situation uh, went over with Elva to pick up her nieces so the twins that we saw when we did the island videos uh, their little sister Tina as well as uh, Betty and Marnie who we brought them all back to Jiao Ching. Marnie didn't actually stay with us on that trip she's the youngest of the bunch uh, her mother had actually come up on the high-speed train from Shenzhen, so Marnie and uh, Betty's parents work in in Shenzhen, and the kids stay with the grandparents. 
Uh, so, just this is where we saw that snake a minute ago. I'm just wondering if he's come back around now that we've gone. No, he's long gone. Um, so yeah, Marnie was actually going to spend time with her mum, so she met us. We brought her to the Jiaqing station. Ma, uh, Marnie's mum met us there and took her on to Shenzhen. Uh, and yeah, getting off the getting off the train then was a uh, bit of a lesson uh, in not travelling, because they had two different QR codes that you could scan to get your health check done. Uh, you know, so whenever you went into a shopping centre or anywhere where there were crowds of people, you had to scan a QR code, which uh, had access to all your health things. There were two different types of QR codes. One was accessible to me and the other one wasn't. So there were shopping centres that only had the QR code that I couldn't use. Uh, which meant I couldn't go into those shopping centres. Other shopping centres had the other QR code or both QR codes. So, you know, during that period, I just had to learn the places that had the right QR code and make sure I went to those places to do whatever I was going to do. So it was a bit of an inconvenience, but it wasn't too bad. Most of the things I wanted to do, like the shopping centre, actually the shopping centre nearest to me, where they had Walmart, which isn't there anymore. Walmart's been closed. But that shopping centre, the security guards actually knew me. And they knew I worked at the medical college. They knew that I'd, I'd actually gone in there with a teacher uh, when the QR code thing first started. And they sort of explained to the guards, yes, I've had my uh, shots. Yes, I'm tested regularly. And it got to the point where with them, I could just show them my latest health update on the other QR code program. And they were perfectly satisfied with that. They just let me in, which was very good of them because they probably, they probably shouldn't have, but they were, you know, I think they were doing the right thing. They understood my situation. So yeah, they took care of me well. Um, But yeah, coming back to Jiao Qing from Guangxi was uh, an eye-opener because they didn't want to let me out of the station in Jiao Qing because I had the wrong QR code. And it took quite a while to convince them that, yes, I live here. Yes, I've had all my shops. Yes, I'm tested regularly. Uh, and all that sort of... Eventually, they... <laughs> I think it was more in frustration because we weren't... We weren't just saying, oh, okay, we'll follow your direction then. We actually stood our ground and said, no, 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 this is where I live. You have to let me in because I live here. And eventually they gave up and let us in. But that taught me after that, we actually did a, uh, did a trip down to Shenzhen with, uh, with one of the teachers from our school and her daughter. And we spent a few days in Shenzhen. We were going to go to... Uh, Huaiji, Huaijou, Hezhou, which is near Shenzhen. But at that time, I actually uh, was, you know, I was following the news and I'd heard that there'd been a few cases of COVID reported at that time in Shenzhen. And I just straight away thought, no, no, I'm going home. I'm not going to risk getting stuck in a, uh, in a city where, you know, I have to pay for hotel and stuff. So instead of catching the train for this, we actually booked a uh, Dida. So here in China, you have Didi, which is like your ride, you know, like taxi rides. You book them. And then Dida is a ride sharing app, which is more used for traveling from city to city. You know, it's what I use when I go to Yunfu. So you're actually sharing with other people. It's uh, really good prices. And uh, yeah, so we did that there. And then coming back in, there was no test. There's nothing like a train station that you have to go through to get in. So coming down into this little square here, we see this sculptures here. I'm trying to 
trying to figure out what exactly they are. Not sure from this one, but someone has, looks like broken something off the top of here. And then, and then these here. Not sure what this is all about. So I've got dates up the back here, 1839. So 3rd of June till the 25th of June, 1839. It's another one we might have to uh, have a look at. And then this sign over here is National, China National Narcotics Control Commission. See a lot of signs from them everywhere, sort of doing the old things, you know, don't use drugs and all that sort of thing. They advise about, advise about the penalties and stuff that you uh, can receive. Oh, we might have some of them here. So this is the Narcotics Control, Control Commission again. And yes, okay, so this is all about drug stuff, uh, all in Chinese. We might actually come along here with the 360 camera or find other signs like this with the 360 camera another time and actually do a little video on some of these and being out, you know, having the ability to translate them. Got another of these sculptures over here. Looks pretty cool. And then all these signs along here, the only English we can see is prohibition against drugs. Prohibition against drugs. So yeah, they do take that very, very seriously. So there's more signs here that we really wanna have a look at. So this is dating 1729 and then all different years right the way along until we get to 2020 at the end. We might actually, we've got a friend uh, hopefully coming to visit at the end of October who, she's Chinese, but she's actually thinking about getting into doing video making like me. So she actually wants to come out and do, do a couple of videos with me. So this might be an idea to come over here have a look at some of these signs and get her to actually translate what they're saying to us. Her English is very, very good. Um, so she should have no problem with that. So we are now heading back, um, heading back towards the bike and we'll see what else we have to show you. If nothing else, we are going to put you back on the bike as we head across the river, especially if we go across the new bridge where, as I said, we'll be on the actual roadway heading over there. So it should be interesting. We are back here now. So back over this side is the uh, bridge that we walked across at the beginning. And then back in front of us here is the gate we entered this park through. So we're going to get back on the bike. We're going to take a little ride. If we find something more interesting, we'll bring you back. Otherwise, we'll see you when we're on the uh, bridge on our way back home. Okay, so we're back on the bike now. We are actually just going to keep the camera rolling. Back on the 360 camera. Just, uh, we're actually going to head back to the old iron bridge. The one that we originally came over. Was thinking about crossing over the new bridge on the road. But, yeah, that's just, I'm a bit nervous about traffic through there. So we're gonna go back the way we came. Administrative Service Center of Gaoya, okay? Gonna have a little look at whatever we can see here. For those of you who saw the uh, video of the sort of shopping street through Gaoya, a couple of months back, that runs parallel to this road. It's over on our right. Uh, maybe one block over. I think that might be it just through there. So we're just sort of the other side of the, uh, of that from the river. And yeah, it's a lot. A lot of older construction through here. 
um, it's not as new and developed as sort of uh, when you get out the eastern end of Juan Zhou, there's a lot of new new shopping centres and apartment buildings and all that sort of thing over there. That hasn't sort of happened here yet. There is a lot of development starting to happen here though. I think to come back in 10 years, I think Gaoya will be a very, very different place. It's uh it is an interesting little area. I haven't spent nearly enough time out here. I am going to try and spend a bit more time, have a bit more of a look around and learn my way around this area. Nice green area over on our left there. I wonder what that is in there through them gates. Looks like probably some sort of government offices I would think. I'm not sure. Or maybe a big private business. I don't know. So what we are looking for, there's a road. I don't think it'll be these traffic lights. I think it'll be the next traffic lights are going to lead us back towards the bridge. Yeah, I think I'm right. I think I've got that correct. We haven't got too much of a stop here. So we see this on our left here, the uh, cars sort of stop back at that second line and then bikes can come and park in front of the cars here, which is very, very handy. Okay, and away we go. So over on our left, behind them buildings now, we might be able to get to see through this through this gap in the buildings here. But over on our left there is that mountain we climbed up. I don't even remember how long ago that was. Now maybe three weeks ago. And uh, yeah, absolutely wore ourselves out. What is this motorbike doing? Got no idea, swerving all over the place. Okay, so at this road up here, we're gonna chuck a right. So this is in front of us is one of the newer areas here in Gaoya. These apartment buildings are fell. I think they finished these just after I arrived here in China. So they are fairly well established by now. Okay, yes, I know where we are now. So up on the left here, Oh, we'll get past these, past these traffic lights and roundabout up in front of us. Up on the left up here is a ramp, road ramp going up. So that actually leads you up to the Iron Bridge. But we're actually going to go along the right hand side of that, stay down at ground level. And Oh, we're good to go through here. Lights have changed just at the right time. Uh, yeah, we're actually going to go down this way to the river and then along the river onto the Iron Bridge. And then I guess, once we get home, we've got to decide what we're going to do for dinner tonight. Um, haven't really thought about that. Might go and buy some bread and just do some baked beans and eggs on toast or something along those lines. Leaf motor. Nice electric cars. So, yeah, it's a uh, cool cool little area to come and explore it's uh yeah like i say it's still a lot of it is very sort of very old but it does have a great atmosphere over here come over here for a walk in the evening and stuff people are a lot more i guess less well off but they're also i don't know there's something about the people that you meet over here maybe it's because there's not a whole lot of foreigners over in Gao Yao. Maybe it's just the uh, surprise factor for them at seeing a foreigner over here. 
they do seem to be really really friendly but just over the road so just on the right hand side of that roundabout in front of us the tall building there is actually the uh, main sort of office building for our school and away we go so yeah that's where we're at and we're headed to the bridge over here on our right we actually uh I mean, try, the reason we were going to go across the other bridge on the road was because Tony with his new bike, the electric bike he's just bought, his bike's actually quite a bit wider than mine, probably eight or nine, maybe 10 centimeters wider, which means to get over the walkways here, he's not going to be able to do that. Uh, which we'll show you when we get just up the road here. When we came over this bridge at lunchtime, when we were coming over here, we actually... So there's two walking paths over here. So we'll show you what I'm talking about. So when you go to get on these, onto this bridge, on the footpath, we have these bollards on the right here that you have to be able to fit through. And if you can't fit through them, you have to go on the road. So I can just scrape through. There's no way Tony can fit through them. So that path there leads up to this walkway here, which goes down sort of as we're looking, goes down the right hand side of the bridge. But there is another walkway on this side of the bridge. So I actually came across this one when we were coming over. I came over this one first because I thought I'll have a look, see if there's a way for Tony to fit over here. Problem is, just up here, they've got this, this walkway has been closed off. I'm not sure why. So, but the huge big gap over that side. So Tony can get his bike through there, but we run into this gate up here which is a shame because he would be able to use this bridge otherwise. So I do want to organize with Tony and do a ride over here with Tony, the pair of us together. Uh, but we might have to actually use the roadway to get over for him, which is a bit of a shame. I don't know why they've got that other path blocked off, but for some reason they do. So gonna wait oh no the bike behind us appears to be stopping so I always go to this gate here it says 44 centimeters gap and as you can see I can just squeeze through there Tony's bike there's no way he'd get through there and from here we're up onto the bridge onto the footpath and over the river. So this is probably actually, now we're gonna keep the camera rolling for a minute because I would like to see if we come across a train coming across the bridge as we're riding along. I've gotten very, very good at picking the trains, uh, what type of train they are, just by the sound of the train as it's coming, whether it's a passenger train or a freight train. The freight trains have a really, really deep throb as they're coming towards you uh, because they're carrying so much more weight. Whereas the passenger trains, they're still a deep throb, but they're not nearly as deep as the freight trains. So yeah, I can pretty well pick what type of train's coming towards us now from the sound of the train that's heading towards us. The uh, train line runs actually past our new Dinghu campus and I do the same thing out there. The students are always amazed. How did you know it was a passenger train? Go, oh, I'm just good, that's all. But yeah, the roadway up above us, a lot of traffic passes over here. The uh, river looks 
looks fairly quiet on shipping today. There's a lot of ships parked up down the side there. Looks like there's not much happening. Oh, we've got guys working on the rail line inside here. So chances are we're not going to see a train coming across in the near future. Although, we just heard a siren sound up ahead of us. No, I thought maybe that to signify the train coming they should get off the tracks. But no, they're all still, they're all still on the tracks working away. The, um, yeah, it is a little busy little bridge, this one, for uh, both traffic and for trains. Try and come over here in a car on during rush hour. It is just jam-packed full of people, full of cars. So that is pretty much our little tour over in Gaoyao today. We did manage to get up and find one of them temples, which... Yeah, I've been looking at those temples from across the river for a long time and been meaning to go and find my way to them, but it, will, it was always a bit difficult without the electric bike. And now we've got the electric bike, we will be doing a lot more stuff like that, just going and finding stuff. Oh damn, I forgot of that park to take photos of that map to uh, translate some of the other tourist sites. We might actually have to try and snatch a... Uh, couple of screenshots out of the video and run them through a translator see what we can find and that'll give us some more ideas for places to go on video so over on our left here we've seen this before it's a little park area on our left I haven't actually been in there for a long time we might have to go and do a little video in there it's a really pleasant little area um, we're down the spiral down to get back down to the road level so we're going to end end there i hope you've enjoyed this little tour around gaoyao a little explore if you have hit that like button share with friends get subscribed to the channel to see what else we have coming up like i say we may be going off to guangxi i haven't heard back from andy yet i'll have to send him a message when we get home and see what's going on um yeah so get yourself subscribed questions comments hit us up down the bottom in the comment section and if you have anything you would like to learn about life here in china again hit us up in the comment section down below come up with a good idea we'll go away look at making a video for you and uh yeah trying to bring you the things that you want to see that's what I would like to be doing. Um, I did actually have somebody message me the other day about that, about me saying this. You know, tell us what you want to see. And someone actually commented, I don't actually know what I want to see because I don't know what there is there is to see. Which was, I thought, a fair enough comment. So, you know, if people don't ask for things, I'll just keep keep the videos coming as they have been. Here we are again through the bollards, just squeezing through, Whee! and then we are on the road back down towards our school. The uh, white building you see over here is our main school building. So thanks for watching everybody, stay safe, and we will see you all in the next one. Cheers.